Hey guys, this is MacHeads101. Today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 2.2. So before I do that, um, I want to make, okay, so first you go into iTunes. And you want to make sure it's not jailbroken and it's on a legit copy of 2.2 from Apple. Okay. And I'm going to cancel the syncing so you can see. So if it's, if it's jailbroken or something, you can just restore it. Next, we're going to install QuickPwn, that's the application we're going to be using. Make sure you have the latest version, because otherwise it will not work. Uh, I think, I believe the latest version is 2.2. Okay, then just say OK. It's going to say, please connect your device. We'll automatically test it, and then we'll move to the next step. Then you're going to select what type of thing you're using. I'm using the iPhone 3G, so I select that. Now it's going to search for some firmware bundles, and it found 2.2. It said, would you like to replace your current boot logo? I'm going to say um, no, because I like the Apple logo. If you say this, you're going to have a pineapple sign instead of the Apple sign. Now it's going to build an IPSW. So um, this might take a while, because right now it's just loading the jailbroken firmware, which means that it's basically taking the 2.2 firmware and it's not taking anything away from it um, it just it's gonna ask you for your password so I'm just gonna type in my password there we go so what it's doing is it's taking that same firmware and it's copying everything from it but it's adding what you want to jailbreak it so yeah and you can also press log and if you press log, it's going to tell you everything it's doing. So it's going to um, say, now it's going to ask you to turn off your device. So you can just turn it off. It's going to give you very simple instructions to follow. And if you do everything it says properly, it should work. Now it says prepare to hold your home button in five seconds. That means you don't hold it yet. And then you keep holding it until it tells you to stop. Your home and your top button, sleep wake button. Now you just hold the home button. Okay, and what that did is it brought it into D DFU mode. And as you can see, my iPhone screen is white and now it just restarted. Which means that the iPhone is going to lose its current firmware. So um, make sure you had every, everything you wanted on your iPhone backed up before you did this because otherwise you're going to lose it because you didn't back it up. Now it's going to send a DMG of your iPhone. Just wait for that to finish. It should do it pretty quickly. And yeah. Okay, so now it finished making the um, DMG and it's just going to send the kernel cache and it, it's going to do that really, really fast and then we can go to the next step. So now it has finished making your device. Your QuickPone is modifying your device. This process will allow to allow the custom firmware and other tweaks to perform to be performed in the future. This process may take a while and the iPhone 3G will reboot itself. Don't do anything till it has done. So just say okay. And as you can see, um I don't have anything on the screen that's interesting right now. And if I go to the log, there's nothing happening. But right now, my iPhone is just loading. So once this is done, it'll succeed. And so now I'm just going to do a cut here until it's done. Okay? So now, um, you can see that it's doing this the loading sign. It's I think it's a pretty cool loading sign. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to do another cut here until this is done. Okay, so now you can see that it is finished, and my iPhone is rebooting. Just let that do that.
Okay, so now my iPhone is done rebooting, and you can see I have um, all my applications and everything, and everything is still there. So now you can just um, go into Installer, go into Cydia, and install everything you want, and your iPhone is just like how it was before. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this worked for you. If it did, please subscribe, and have a nice day.